about to feel seen because I, the usual recorder of the set events, the stone soup, I'm about to be filmed. We all are. Uh, because Bill Lewis has turned the tables. Uh, he's recording this for his own posterity, his own side of the story. Uh, that's, uh, I'm not recording your posterior show. <laughs> and that's just a taste ouch. of what's going on tonight. Ouch, ouch. And it's just going to keep on going from there. But he deserves his boilerplate bio intro, so we're going to do that right now. And of course, um, we have several more weeks of Bill in our hearts in the, in the uh, city of Cambridge Aww. and Boston. And of course, he'll be with us because God knows there's probably nothing going on in Idaho. But, they, but if you're wrong, let me know. I'd love to stay at your farm and do a gig. But uh, Bill Lewis is a computer scientist and has worked in research and taught most of his life most recently doing genetics research at MIT. He has taught at Stanford and Tufts universities and worked for FMC, Sun, Microsystems, and Nokia Data. Bill is a past uh, District 31 governor of Eastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and an Eagle Scout, a returned Peace Corps volunteer, and a patriarch citizen of the United States. He is currently performing and teaching high school all over Zoom as James Madison, fourth president of the United States. Well, that James Madison. He is using his skills to talk about what is important in life. Bill, this is his last statement, Bill is the very epitome of sober, serious, introspective poetry. That statement is being reviewed by Snopes as of right now. They have not gotten back to me. Oh. But regardless, uh, we, are, we are in the presence of him tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm not giving a regular introduction, but I am going to tell you to put your hands together 30, 40 times for Bill Lewis. experience. It was a glorious time for me to go to Radcliffe and listen to this engineer talk about the drone helicopter that they were building it. What was impressive is how excited this engineer was. She was just bursting out of her skin talking about the job that they were doing building this thing, the struggles that they have, and she was so excited and so happy. This is exactly what I want to give to my students when I am teaching. I want them to find that excitement, love, and desire, whether it's a helicopter or anything else. And of course, to have that helicopter and the days you actually see it fly on Mars is a cool thing. So, yes indeed, Mimi Aum is from Burma. She grew up there and went to high school in Malaysia, came to the United States, Champaign-Urbana, graduated, worked for JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, NASA, and took a huge chance on her career 30 years later to run the helicopter project, Integrity, uh, uh, in, in Ingenuity. Yes, so ingenuity. And I was just so psyched by that, and I was brag talking to my kids about it today, and yes, there is so much wonderful, beautiful things in the world. We have so much. I'm just really excited about everything. But the world is a beautiful place. Oh. So, <clears throat> more historical. <laughs> he took us down, way down. Our ears popped, the water darkened, and still we went down. Even at 60 feet, you need compression if you stay too long. We didn't stay too long. Follow your bubbles, our instructor said. When you're dizzy, you can't tell up from down, so follow your bubbles. I was 10, Sandy was 12, we were scuba divers. We together and were conquering the deep. Our magic bottle of air fed us and made us magic too. We were fish, we were boy fish, we would swim and walk and talk. Our flippers sped us forward at an impossible speed. We spun and darted through the water. We were fish, we were porpoises, we were dolphins! 
We wore Speedos. I also remember we wore Speedos back then. It was so sexy and so normal. I wanted to wear a thong, but I didn't dare. Not then, not there. Van was our instructor. He was Navy. We drove to Navy standards. Live boat drops, nighttime compass courses again and again. We practiced them until we dropped or floated. We did them again until we were perfect. Navy perfect! We don't dive anymore, but we still love the water. We don't fear it, we respect it. The water has no good, no evil. It feeds us, it nourishes us, it drowns us. We respect it. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. What moving thing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ode to a horse's nostril. <laughs> Warm and wet and strong thou blowest, a veritable hurricane thou knowest. Thy equine breath is sweet as hay, as moist as cake, as some might say. Thy huffs and puffs are my ears' music, they make my heart run strong so quick. Thy whiskers stick at all at random, they tickle my nose and cheeks in tandem. What greater joy is man to know than the nose of his friends that makes his heart glow? <laughs> that is dedicated to uh, my brother's horse, a son. Let's see. Have you seen him online? Yes. Well, I have. Yeah, well, uh, you, you, you've seen everything. You're, you're spying on me all the time. I know that. <laughs> like a stalker. <laughs> oh. Okay, and now, um, not everything in the world is as beautiful as we are, and, um, <sighs> His hat's in the ring. She's delightful, she's fun, she's polite, she's considerate. For her friends, she'll go out of her way to make them feel good, both respected and loved, to wish some of the very best day. Frustrations abound. When alone with three little ones, I know how tough it can be. Their tantrums and fights, their terrible frights, their problems as big as the sea. I wish she'd stop hitting her kids. All of her friends, they do the same. It's a terrible shame to beat your kids into submission. You're in a hurry, they're slow, so you give them a blow and drag them behind in derision. Then there's yelling and screaming, words, insults and words demeaning, Complaints as they were ever born. Lonely nights spent ignoring their pleas, their imploring. Perfection all dismissed with great scorn. I wish she'd stop hitting her kids. Life is hard, it's a given. Yet she's consistently striven to do all she can for her kids. But they don't need no things, fancy clothes or bright rings, or even cell phones and computers. All they want is their love her time and her hugs. They desperately crave her affection. Then her anger explodes on the kids she unloads, her childhood and lack of direction. I wish she'd stop hitting her kids. Whew. Okay, that was a hard one. Oh, my mother. My mother. Uh, we joined the waves and promptly moved to the spars in 40. Two, I think it was. So when the Coast Guard uh, uh, Sparge uh, Women's Auxiliary was founded, she was there. And she was a delightful spar. She could do 25 words per minute uh, encoded. That's fast Morse code. And she gave me this little ditty <clears throat> for the uh, Coast Guard. Here's to the ships and the spars of the land. May the ships be well rigged. And the spars be well manned. And if I know my mother, she was well manned. <laughs> oh, well. Well, are we ready for group participation? I need your voices on this, Chadford. Would you be so 
kind as to assist in this effort. This is my famous, um, my famous, my glorious poem about the 16S ribosomal small subunit. Oh boy. So, here I need your assistance. So, please repeat after me. 16S. 16S. Ribosomal. 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 Small subunit. Small subunit. 16S. 16S. Ribosomal. Ribosomal. Small subunit. And it's going to sound like this. Let me drive, let me do that again. 15F ribosomal subunit. So when we do it, you will be doing it like that. 16F ribosomal subunit. So let's do it all together. 16F ribosomal subunit. When your DNA gets ready and it wants to have some fun and the protein that it's coding for is needed number one and your cytoplasmic signal flux exceeds your beta max and there's just one thing I know of that can save you from the act. It's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. It's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. A heterogeneous mixture from the very distal gut contains processed and bacteria all blended in your butt. If you want to separate them in a phylogenetic tree, then the only thing, one thing you really need to see, what you can see, it's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. It's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. You gather all the microbes in a very little tube, then you lice the little bastards with a special type of lube. You spin them till they're dizzy and their DNA drops out, and a PCR reaction makes their numbers mount and mount. It's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. It's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. The 16S is so conserved, it lasts for years and years, and a universal primer sounds like music to my ears. A kneeling on a three prime strand that fits so very neat, and a five prime that's reciprocal produces something sweet. It's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. It's the 16S ribosomal small subunit. Oh. 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 I tell you. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Takes some energy there. Yeah. Is that when you teach your kids, <laughs> the, uh, the students? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, um, okay, so 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 uh, relaxing poem. <laughs> oh, I did all of those. Oh, okay. Well, here we'll do this old one. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <clears throat> We're just lines in the sand, the ocean shall soon wash away. Our, our hopes, our cares, our dreams shall vanish, sweet clean, to await the lines of another day. We shall be gone, mere sparks in our friends' memories. They will go after, and our sparks will disappear with the breeze. What meaning has life when all ephemeral, when all that we love is gone, when the sea rolls? A hundred years hence our name will be lost, our successes unknown, our possessions all tossed. So why do we struggle? Why do we fight? Why should we care what is wrong, what is right? Mere lines in the sand engulfed by the sea, recycled by nature to a mouse or a tree. What good is the joy that the Brianna felt as she ride on my shoulders as I tried not to melt? From the heat of the dance hall, from the turns and the spins, from the giggling laughter that this little girl wins. Only a scratch on the surface that a wave shall soon heal. My life then shall vanish, except for the peel. That one peel of laughter is in this little girl's heart. Will give her the courage and inspire her art. That one peel of laughter shall pass to her child. Just one peal of laughter, so absurd and so wild. And her child shall pass it on to the next generation after generation. Shall we see the same text? My line shall fade and another appears, but the peal of that laughter shall go on through the years. Yeah. <laughs> oh. OK.
Okay. Da 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 Dear Camberville, after nearly 20 years of living here, I'm about to depart to Idaho, where I shall be close to family. I want to take this opportunity to tell you what you have meant to me. Since I arrived here near Penny's List in 2003, I have gotten to, <clears throat> as a volunteer for the Boston Symphony Orchestra, I got to give tours, work in the shop, help with the kids' Christmas fundraiser, teach clarinet and the instrument petting zoo, etc. I got to read poetry at Stone Soup at the Boston Public Library and do crazy things at Out of the Blue. I ran the duct tape for the kids at David Square's Summer Festival. I worked in the media lab of MIT. I was instrumental in getting an article into Scientific American. I slept in the schools in Somerville. It was wonderful. The Mystic Lear River Learning Center taught at Tufts University, lectures at Harvard, EU, Northeastern, the IEEE Java Users Group, I was part of the Norwegian dance group. We traveled, performed at Neffa, Pine Woods, other places. I would tell funny stories for the kids, the dancers, at the Swedish Retirement Center for the Swedish Women's Educational Session when they'd have their Lucia Festival. I got to work at the Broad Institute. My work spread the genetic analysis worldwide. I have had conversations with Nobel Prize winners my boss is going to win the Nobel Prize. One atom of that Nobel Prize is going to be my work, and I'm going to be very proud of that atom. <coughs> I put on a costume and performed as James Madison, teaching about the foundations of the country. Performed in library schools, companies. I spoke at the State House. I attend all, attend all relevant events at the Massachusetts Historical Society, and I am accorded great respect. Some of the world's most prominent historians have spent time helping me teach kids better. I got to be district governor for the 132 clubs in eastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, for Toastmasters. I visited so many clubs, so many people blossom, see them organize conferences and trains for thousands of people. My friend won the world championship of public speaking. An activist involved in Occupy Boston. I have participated in the challenging process of democracy. Almost every major progressive group in Boston to some degree. I've marched in the streets, spoken to my representative in the State House, just did things myself. Fix stuff, clean stuff, help people become not homeless. Charlie Baker and Liz Warren know my name, a founding member of mass action against police brutality. I worked on cannabis, cannabis legalization. I worked with them, marked with S-E-I-U, S-I-E-U, one of those things. <laughs> yeah, S-E-I-U. They let me interview the kids on Halloween for CCTV. And all the dances, the first night, the Shirley Eustace House, the Brazilian Center, and Encuentro Cinco, solo together, the National Peace Corps volunteer, Boston for Bernie, the do-it-yourself erotic film festival I starred in. It is so wonderful, the opportunities that I have had here. Thank you, thank you so much, Boston. Thank you, that I could be here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful. Keep your hands going for Bill Lewis. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Chadford. Thank you, everybody. This was fun. Woohoo! <laughs> Keep applauding and then. Woo! Bravo!